What I do, I don't think is anything special, anything unique. It's just kind of what I think of an elected official, a local leader should do when I view it through the eyes of a student, through the eyes of somebody involved in my community. So one thing you mentioned was the visiting the schools. I've made it a point ever since I've served as state court judge to go out and visit as many schools as I can in the community and at any ages. So I'll go visit a kindergarten class and we'll talk about career day and I'll just try to do some very basics, hang out with good people, make good decisions. I'll go talk to third graders about branches of the government and we'll do some very basic stuff. To, uh, middle schoolers, they wanted something a little more advanced. So something I did last year, one of the schools said, we're studying about the outsiders, how this is a, a gang in juvenile justice. So I went and spoke to them. I had to read the outsiders, so that's fine. So I read that and got prepared for that. And then in high school, I may speak to them about the Bill of Rights and we'll go into the, some greater discussions. But, but my goal is just to kind of get out there and outreach as much as I can to students. I'll also go to community groups as well. But the more students I can come in contact with and tell them, don't be afraid of the judicial system. It's, we're not in an ivory tower. It's nothing to be afraid of. Just make good decisions. I'm hoping that the less folks that we'll see going into juvenile court, less folks will graduate from juvenile court to state court and superior court. So that's one of the things I try to do. And then you mentioned the Facebook page. I try to share those visits with the folks on Facebook. They can go talk to their parents, they can talk to the other kids, and we just kind of share the experience. So that's what I do in trying to get out there in that capacity.